hi family you're welcome back again to the channel and in today's video i'll be showing you how you can import any product of your choice from china and you know the good thing about this video today i will be showing you how you can make payments yourself with a nigerian bank card i know you all know that most nigerian bank card you cannot use it to make payments online but trust me today in this video i will be showing you a way that you can use to order for any product of your choice from china and then pay yourself without the service of any procurement agent or any paying agent pay your suppliers yourself and ship this product down to you nigeria and sell and make good money for yourself now if this sound like something you're interested in then ensure you sit back watch this video to the very end if you're just coming across the channel for the first time my name is Oni Omura, and here in this channel i create content around starting and growing an online business i go in depth with mini importation affiliate marketing drop shipping and different ways of earning sustainable income from the online space so if this sounds like something you're interested in just subscribe to the channel be a part of this family and also if at any point in this video you feel you're getting value please guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so guys with that being said let's dive straight into today's video so in today's method i will show you how you can import from china using alibaba okay alibaba is a b2b platform from which you can get different manufacturers of different products ranging from uh, fashion products health products kitchen items computer gadgets phones and all of those like there are lots of manufacturers on alibaba in fact alibaba is a manufacturer's website there you get loads and loads of manufacturers it's far different from aliexpress and one good thing i love about alibaba is that it is actually beginners friendly because the platform is in english like you can read and understand anything that you see they unlike like to it is where you get writings in china and if you don't know how to translate you'll be finding it difficult to navigate around the site when it comes to alibaba it's very very beginner friendly in fact without any much waste of time you can just go place order and before you know it you're done with that so we will be using alibaba today to buy products from china pay ourselves and also get shipping agents that will help you ship it down to your country so guys the first thing i'll be doing is installing the alibaba app so i'll go down my phone screen right now and show you how to go about all of this so ensure you follow me closely and remember give this video a thumbs up if you find it valuable don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that so let's go down my phone screen right now and let's take it up from there now the very first thing you need to do is to go to your play store or your ios store depending on the device you're using go and type alibaba.com if you don't have the app now because i already have the app installed on my phone i'm not going to be installing again all i will do is just click on open now this is the alibaba app and i have registered or uh, i've signed up on this platform now on this particular app that's alibaba you'll be seeing lots of manufacturers just as i mentioned earlier let me show you one so this is like a 360 um view of their showroom let me click on this this is like a 360 degrees tour or um video tour rather of this particular manufacturer store so you can see it here can you see it you can view through their showroom and see how their um company looks like now this is it here can you see this can you see this this is like when you walk into their company or when you walk into their store okay this is what you will see guys can you see this but that's not why we are here this is me just showing you in case you want to view their showroom to know if they are legit or not you have seen it for yourself this is another this is another okay let me click on this hair okay so this is like a hair company now this is their showroom let's just take a look at it you can see different hairs with different colors different types depending on what you want 
you can see them all here okay they even have some displayed on the floor right you can see it okay like that's a table okay these are like wigs right all displayed you can see them okay and you can see they have the inner chambers or other parts of the company let's say that's actually their manufacturing center and this is the showroom this is like the reception area can you see it so can you guys see it? so you can take your time and just um, view through all you need to view through ask the questions you need to ask okay now if you want to ask questions when you come towards the bottom part of the screen you can see chat you can see call so depending on what you want to do you can go ahead and do it okay now let's go back to the home page this is the home page right now let's say i'm looking for manufacturers i'll click on manufacturers right and search the product let's say it's blenders okay let me use blender as an example manufacturers of blenders now you can see different manufacturers of blenders here can you see it? different blenders so let me just click on the first one not to waste much of our time i'll just click on this first one okay, so this is a portable blender a portable blender for your juice or whatever let's say this is what i want to buy remember i want to show you how you can actually pay with your local bank card now this is it here you can see the price 15 dollars a minimum order is one okay let's see if this is a verified seller okay this uh seller actually has trade assurance refund policy on time dispatch guaranteed okay and the seller is actually verified now coming down here you can see the store rating is 4.5 out of 5 on time delivery is 100 percent their transaction over sixty thousand plus dollars your staff this is actually a company registered trademark seat if you're good with what you're seeing here you can actually check reviews check recommendations and all of those now if you're good with it what you need to do is to click on chat now now if you see something like chat now that is to say they need you to chat them before you can place order i need a particular manufacturer where i can actually place order immediately so that i can show you guys how to do that so let's go to ready to ship now this is ready to ship product that are ready to ship okay or blenders that are ready to ship let me click on this one the first one here okay now this is a product that is ready to ship an automatic juicer you can see it is an electric juicer you can see the price 7.5 dollars okay minimum of 10 p6 again let's say i want to go ahead and place order for this particular product okay what do we need to do all you need to do is to click on start order when you know you've done your due diligence you've checked all you need to check you click on start order now from here remember the minimum order is 10 so i just need to type in 10 and click on start order so at the top there is actually my shipping company warehouse address okay the address in china that's the address you're seeing there now you can see the total i'm to pay 75.00 okay shipping fee to be negotiated the reason you're seeing it this way is because my shipping company warehouse is within china okay i'm not using their own alibaba shipping method most of them use dhl which is quite too expensive for me now shipping method to be negotiated okay notes to the seller just come here write your notes to the seller or you need the seller to do for you to know to write your name on the parcel when you're done with that you click on submit submit a chat with supplier to confirm it's instructing me to chat with this supplier to confirm so i'll go ahead and chat with him
remember i don't really want to buy this product this is me just showing you how you can go about this right so i'll just say hi let me just wait for him to check and tell me how much is my shipping fee so guys back to alibaba again now all i need to do is to click on my alibaba when i click on my alibaba this way okay you can see at the top here is written my orders one unpaid right so i'll click on that unpaid you can see it here now the manufacturer has totaled how much i will be paying remember yesterday it was around 75 dollars without the logistic fee okay now you can see that he has added five dollars okay he has added five dollars for shipping that is shipping within china is five dollars that's all i'll pay for shipping now i can just go ahead and click on payment into the checkout page you can see that all i'm paying is 82 dollars point four zero now you'll be asking where is the 2.40 coming from formerly we saw um 80 where is the two dollar coming from you can see it there it's coming from the transaction fee the transaction fee is 2.40 dollars now you can also see from here that i can pay with my cards okay from the left hand side of my screen you can see nigeria there you can see nigeria which is my country you can see it there right now you can see the payment options available to me as a nigerian you can see that i can pay through my credit or my debit card and i can also pay through gp that is to say if i have um loaded my gp wallet through my local visa or my mastercard then if i want to pay with usd then you can see that i can pay with paypal paypal is accepted so if you have paypal phones you can actually use it to make payments on alibaba i can also pay through wire transfer i can also pay through wire transfer but because what i have at hand is my card so i'll just click on card okay and then click on continue now you can see that all i need to do is to go ahead and add my card details my card information the expiry date and then the cvv can you see that now you'll be asking only what card can we use here what will actually work on this platform is a usd card now you may be asking how can i get a dollar card just walk to any bank request for a dollar prepaid card request for a dollar prepaid card presently i have um a uba dollar prepaid card and it works perfectly on alibaba and you know what you don't necessarily need to open an account with uba for you to get a dollar prepaid card with uba you can just walk into any uba bank around you and tell them you need a dollar prepaid card all the request for you is um your name your identity information that's an identity card it could be a passport a driver's license or your national id card or even your voter's card and then your utility bill for confirmation of your address okay they will need your utility bill which you can give them your nipa bill okay now those are basically what they request from you and then they need you to deposit a certain amount in dollars like physical deposit now not transfer physical deposit into that particular prepaid card for you to activate it you need to go and get dollars and deposit it into that account okay now this is where you'll be having challenges now because you need to buy dollar from the black market and then come deposit it into your prepaid card but if you're someone that let's say you work online you do freelancing jobs online and you have dollars you don't need to worry for instance myself i have a youtube channel and i'm being paid in usd i am a freelancer online i am and also i am paid in usd you see it is easy for me i don't need to go to the black market to start to go and start sourcing for usd i just need to go to my domiciliary account okay withdraw usd from them then go and deposit it over the counter into my prepaid card does that make sense into my prepaid card so i don't need to buy dollar at the black market rate because i have dollars but for you that don't have dollar you will need to go and buy usd from the black market then come deposit it 
into your prepaid card when you have that prepaid card phone dead you can now use it to make payments on alibaba it is that convenient it is that easy i have my card staring right here but because i'm not paying for these goods this is just me uh, showing you the process okay i'm telling you all you need to do so you can use a uba for sure i'm really saying uba because that's what i have you can go into a GTC bank and ask if they have their own prepaid card or even access bank and ask questions. Of course, they'll give you answers. But what I'm sure of is a UBA prepaid card will definitely work. So try it out and then leave comments for me down in the comment section. If you love the content of this video, thumbs up this video, please. And leave your comments as always. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye for now.